So I'm hanging out here in North Seattle. I'm at the Rad Power Bikes new headquarters. That's Ty over here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be with him in just a second. But it's so nice to be here. It's a beautiful day. We've been checking out the new Rad City Bike, and I just thought it'd be neat to to also check out the retail space. You guys have been, you know, selling the the Rad Power Bikes online since about 2015. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we we started making uh, kind of custom converted electric bikes all the way back in 2007. Actually. That's what I was getting right. Yeah, yeah you have yeah. this huge history. But yeah, exactly. So that. Kind of the company you see today, uh, the kind of rebranded company uh, has been around since early 2015. Okay. And where was your old office? Because I came by and it was yeah, like on yeah. the other so, side of the so lake. So right, basically right over <laughs> there, you're going to see a ship canal. Yeah. You could almost throw a stone and hit us on the other side of the water. So wow. We moved a bit north, uh, expanded space, uh, have an actual kind of retail presence now which is really cool and this is ba ballard, ballard is that where yeah, okay so and the, the bike ballard trails right around yeah, here are so exactly. nice people yeah. have been test riding the yeah. bikes yeah congratulations yeah, so, yeah thank you thank you it's been uh it's been a super super fun journey going from uh you know pretty much just selling online to you know we still do a lot of online sales but having a, a physical location where people can actually come by touch yeah. the bikes ride them has really been awesome that is spectacular yeah. well show me yeah, the, i want to go inside like check this out we got the rad wagons over here. It was just, that was the last one we looked at. Those are pretty cool. Definitely, yeah. So you have our uh, our showroom space here. We can kind of just Beautiful. show you around. We have our original kind of bike that we launched with over there. It's the, the, rad uh, the rad rover. Rover electric fat bike. You got the exactly. fat tires. Exactly, so the, the fat tires, you know, gonna be more of a mountain bike uh, style frame, the front suspension. So these are awesome. Everything from sand, snow to just you know, paved roads, the big tires. You guys hooked road. it up big time yeah. for us when we were in Mexico and yeah. we were like, hey, we want to test some fat bikes on the beach. Uh, made a really fun video about that. And I was, I was impressed because cool. they actually, you know, they, they're pretty powerful, pretty zippy. Yeah, we didn't yeah. have a problem. And then my girlfriend loved that one because it you could step through. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So the, the Rad Mini is actually our, our third bike that was launched earlier this year. Uh, it's had a really great res response, especially with people, uh, we might call it a little bit vertically challenged. It's going to have oh. a much lower standover height. <laughs> um, one thing that's really nice, uh, people that might live in an apartment, something like that, you can yeah. fold it up, stow it away. You don't have to have You can put it in your car easier exactly. and stuff. Yeah, you can put it in, a, in the trunk of a car really easily, which is I think I've looked really at nice. the, the latest iterations of these, yeah. right? The, yeah. So these are kind of your 2016, 2017 um, models. On yeah, the way exactly. in, I, I saw the wagon. Is that what we got over here? Yeah, exactly. So. Uh, we we've had the wagon since uh, about mid uh late 2015 uh the newest version of it is going to be uh the electric blue which oh. is in addition we started with the orange one so added another color. somebody's a broncos fan <laughs> huh no, yeah. no. oh <laughs> am i speaking yeah. the wrong here yeah. in seattle <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the denver's coming out but yeah. one one really uh one really cool thing that we've added to uh Kind of to our line with the rad wagon is we have a lot of really great accessories oh yeah uh, they're actually made right here let's Seattle. check those yeah. out that's one of my favorite things because these cargo bikes are really practical definitely so i'm going to tell you a little bit about the accessories. mari mar another co-founder hey awesome um so i'll start off with this one this is our caboose so hmm. a lot of parents use this to put their child in the back once they have enough grip strength and can hold their head up then yeah they're, they're allowed to be in the back of this. Um, it's got removable, removable bars. Hmm. So as the child grows, you can um, make it wider. You can remove them if you'd like. Cool. And then once they've graduated from riding on the back, maybe they're on their red mini or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can fold it down and it becomes a platform. So hmm. a lot of people, it's the best pizza box hauler you'll ever find. Oh, I see this. Yeah. So it like pivots down and then you exactly. just got this wide thing. Yeah. You were talking about these bars. I didn't even realize that mm -hmm. it's like you bring it in together and then the kid holds Yeah. So the hold on here. to here, which is a nice thing because if uh, the bike were to tip over then their hands are at the side they're in the middle right or here. if you hit just like scrape exactly. something you don't shear those yes. little fingers yes. off oh. don't want that. <laughs> no um, and then we have seat pads so our caboose mm -hmm. is 200 our seat pads is 25 each cool and then to use the caboose you do need this aluminum plate which is also nice because it's a open source type platform, so you can put any baskets you want on it. Cool. And then over here, we have our deck hand. So our deck hand is, you know, if you don't want something um, this large, then you can go to the deck hand. Usually kids around 
6 to 12 might be riding with this. Um, it's just a place where they can hold on to. And I say 12, but I always ride on the <laughs> Yeah, right. Like, yeah, any, any age. <laughs> um, I think I saw last time when I was in San Francisco, I was visiting yeah, Thai. Well, I'm, I'm quite a bit older than 12. So I ride well, we had fun. Like you and Doyle were yeah. riding all around San Francisco, and it's yeah. you know maybe that's like a bar hopping accessory for depending yeah. on how young you are at heart. Just for kids. Yeah, <laughs> cool. And then of course you can put one in the front, one in the middle, or one in the back, or hmm. have them. Oh, all. you can mount another bar like in the middle yeah. if you yeah, want. Yeah, in the middle, and then again, it still uses the uh, aluminum deck to mount. Okay. I also noticed this nice clear plastic thing. Is yeah. that like a skirt guard or something? Yeah. So if you're gonna have passengers on the back. It's really nice to have this so um, you know things don't get caught in the spokes yeah um, it just protects the rider and it does help with a really rainy Seattle days you don't get mm. a lot of mud kicked up or anything like that I'm looking also through here and I can see the motor it looks like the same motor that you've got on the new rad city is that yeah, right exactly so they're both gonna be the uh, that's the new one. watt uh, Shenyi direct drive so one really nice thing about uh, the direct drives, we have, which we have on two of our bikes, we have the direct drive on the Rad City and the Rad Wagon. Mm -hmm. A really nice thing is it's, it really provides one of the smoothest accelerations that you can find on an e-bike. So especially in the case of the Rad Wagon, maybe you have a bunch of weight on the back, you have kids, you don't necessarily yeah. want that really quick torque. Zippy, uh, like a gear <laughs> Timmy goes here. flying off the yeah, back of the exactly. bike. exactly. So oh, Timmy. It really feels, <laughs> I always kind of describe it as, you know, it feels like... Stay serious, Ty. Yeah. This is... <laughs> <laughs> I describe it as, uh, it just feels like you're riding a regular bike yeah. and you have super human And it's legs. quiet, and exactly. these are really quiet. durable because there's no yeah, gears. So there's it's only, just... There's only one moving part. They're super durable. And yeah. then especially for uh, the commuting aspect of the city, and the wagon, what's really nice with the direct drive is it gives you the option to have the regent braking, which mm -hmm. is really nice. Um, a lot of people will pitch it as, you know, it'll put energy back into the battery, longer range. To yeah. a certain extent, that's absolutely bit. true. What, why we really like it is just because of the extra stopping power. Right. So it's gonna save you uh, brake pads. If you're zipping around the city in traffic, you're just gonna have that much more stopping power. Yeah. Uh, and it just, it makes for a really nice kind of smooth, comfortable ride. Well, you're doing such a good job describing these, Mario Mar, and I can imagine, however old that kid on the back is, that's a lot of extra weight. So having regenerative braking, that, I yeah, just wanted to call exactly. that out. It's kind of yeah, a neat Yeah, it's, upgrade. it's really nice, because then you're using the stopping power of the motor to slow you down. And I mean, for me, as a um, cyclist, one of the things I hate to do the most is change out my disc brake pads. Oh uh, yeah. So having to being able to extend the life of my disc brake pads, just I'm sold. Yeah. Whatever I can do. It's yeah. a welcome upgrade. So so far today we've seen like the haul. Anyone? Uh, by the way, I love this. It is the yep seat. Yeah. Kind of so like yep fits in. Seat, yeah. To mount it, you do need the yep seat adapter, which will mount onto our aluminum deck. And then here we have it shown with the caboose. So you do have to remove the rear bar and the inner bars, um, but it's just in case, you know. It's more protection. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like the parent wants a little bit more than they can have it. And of course you can remove it um, and then take out the seat. And Hopefully really there's nice. not an emergency. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's a, a accessory that the child can grow into. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Tons of, and you got the lights and stuff. So I just wanted to kind of like, from a high level, you've got the folding fat bike, the go anywhere fat bike, the take anyone like cargo bike, the new city one. That that's pretty exciting because this is like, that's your utilitarian. Yeah. Definitely. And if you live by a river, mm -hmm. you've got this crazy thing, right? Like we we looked at this last time. I think Mari Mar is an expert at this. This is the motorized stand up paddleboard from Electrofin. With the solar panel, you were sold out of these last time. So, yeah, yeah, you, so you sell this more. here too? Is this yeah, part? Yeah, we do. It's actually um, it's a pretty niche market, but there's quite a few people. I mean, Seattle's a marine industry, so oh yeah, we get a lot of people that want to go crabbing and uh, fishing, and they want a little extra power. Yeah, uh, don't we all? So. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, <laughs> so it's this is a good option. It's neat to see. I'm yeah. glad that you guys still still do that, and I think it fits into the whole like electric drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. 
I can't wait to see what you guys do in years to come. Uh, what's what's the website for you guys? Yeah, the website is radpowerbikes.com. You can go there, see a lot of information on all of our bikes, view uh, the really detailed specs, videos, pictures, um, and yeah, we're, we're super excited. Uh, you know, you had the chance to try out the Rad City today. That's going to be our oh, new yeah. model. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be available for pre-order November 15th. So coming up pretty quick. Um, yeah, we're just really, uh, really excited to kind of have the world uh, see it and get, get commuting on it. Get out there. Yeah. And what's the address of the new location, Myanmar? Yeah, so we are located at 2622 Northwest Market Street. Seattle, Washington, 98107. Okay. I think that's huge because, you know, we talked about sort of the, the heritage of predominantly saw online yeah. for a while you were visiting San Francisco and we hooked up there. Yeah. But it's there's something about coming in and, and getting to see this, getting to meet the staff and everything and everyone floating around. It's I've had a really good time. So thanks for the thanks for the updates. Of course. Yeah, we're glad, uh, glad you could stop by. It's always always exciting to have you, uh, have you here. Yeah, well, it's it's been great. And uh, I'll see you next time. Sweet. Later, guys. All right. See you, Court. Ha <laughs> <laughs>